Hey guys, Icebreaker again. I'm going to show you a hit I did last night um, with my main account, which is obviously a crab account, running 1 GBE, 7 troop damage, 2 troop health. And we're going to be taking on Tarsia, and we're going to be using all Zookas and Bullet. A lot of people don't like trying to hit these shocks. These shocks can be quite tricky to hit. Um, I do have a picture here that shows the exact shot point you need to use to uh, to shock all five of those in one shot. Same same for the ones at the top there. Um, but we don't need to do that. None of those don't need to do either of those shocks with the bullet attack, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so first of all, you need to clear the three mines that are there, and then next thing you need to do is put the flare down nice low in the water like so and we're going to start landing a bit further away so that we can get all the ladies off off all the boats and keep them nice and grouped because they need them to be nice and tight like that and we're going to drop bullet and your first flare point is in front of the two mortars here which is basically a grouping flare. So once bullet is almost reached the flare, the first flare point, you need to send the next flare out, which is behind that sniper tower in there. Now I'm going to put it on half times. Um, that flare in there goes in between the two, in between the sniper towers there. So then as bullet reaches that, you put the smoke down, which is bullet smoke. And then immediately after that, we need to put two smokes down for the girls, which are the two smokes for the spread, but it's also the smokes for the path for the girls. So these smokes need to cover this gap between the cannons here and that sniper needs to cover that and be on the right side of the cannons here as well like that um, this is now when you shock bullet like that you need to immediately send a flare out to the center of this right hand smoke like that now you can see the girls will split around that sniper tower, which is why I, why we um, need to have the smoke down in that in that path there, so that they can so they don't peek. As soon as they've got to that flare, you need to flare core before the timer on the shock wears off, because if it wears off before you flare the core, bullet will then walk to the new active flare, which is where you just sent the girls. And we want him to stay over here in the middle of the sniper towers, attacking core from there while we attack core from sort of lower down between the flamethrowers and the cannons. So there's the core flare. Now, on this one, it's two shocks. And it is the flamethrowers there to the right. And I shot these three machine guns just because that one. The far right one ranges quite a few of the girls, it can ruin your hit. So it's two shocks instead of this one would be three with uh, the brick hit. So as you can see, as they come out the smoke, bullet taunts. While the girls are free to hit core. And you can see the rocket launchers and the shock launchers here are targeting bullet and not the girls. So he takes all the heat while the girls go to pound town on the core. Um, the hit looks more complicated than it is. Once you've sort of done it once or twice, you sort of get a feel for it. Um, but the good thing about Tarsia is if you want to learn uh, the bullet shock attacks, where you shock bullet where you want him to, he's in the prime location to take the heat while the Zookas stay safe. Um, Tarsia is probably one of the best maps to learn on to start practicing these types of hits simply because the distance from 
the beach to Bullock Shock Point is really short. So you don't have a really long flight time on Shocking Bullock. Like on, um, say, Waterloo, for example, or um, Complex, where the paths are really, really long. Um, throwing those shocks on bullets can be can be really difficult. So practicing on Antasia is a really good way to learn it. It gives you a real feel for the timings for throwing the shocks and where to put the smokes and in what order and stuff. So have a go, guys. Even if you're breezy, we all got to burn to learn. Um, hope this helps. Hope you get to go there. Uh, show your task force how it's done. Make sure you post those videos, guys. Cheers.